Okay, so uh, just wanna make a uh, quick video regarding the uh, infrared thermometers that you can buy online or maybe outside of the Philippines as well as some of the masks that are face masks that are available that we can buy so right here you're looking at uh, three of them so on the left this one is uh, from uh, China as you can see here and uh, this one is a uh, it's limited only to scan temperatures or body temperatures that ranges from I think 35 to 42 degrees centigrade yeah so uh, the measurement area is in the uh, forehead and then uh, response time is uh, two seconds as you can see here from the uh, packaging and, and all the rest the operating temperatures and everything so this one i think you could buy like online maybe at least a thousand pesos and we're gonna open it up and then uh, this is very common actually the model UXA01 I think this is like a generic with no brand so you just uh, use your hand maybe and then it's really quick so my hands are cold right now so it says they are 32 degrees okay so that's the basic one it runs on uh, two uh, AAA batteries. So this is uh, a uh, infrared body thermometer we have here. And then this one, uh, I got this for like uh, two years already. This is from Exor Green. This is also used, you just remove the cap and then uh, you touch the skin and then press the button here. But the problem is it's dead already. So, I don't know why. It runs on 9 volt batteries. But uh, lately I've been, I tried to use it, it doesn't work anymore. But this is actually accurate and it has some uh, memory settings so this is the packaging here um, it's uh, made in the US and then it says here it takes 1000 readings per second so as you can see there it's uh, very accurate but the problem is it died but I think this is one of the most accurate you can buy and this one is uh, this is a uh, master grip this is a uh, Canadian company but this is not for body temperature this is for uh, uh, industrial applications so you can have like a from negative 38 degrees centigrade up to uh, 520 degrees centigrade or negative 36 Fahrenheit to uh, 968 Fahrenheit this also has is able to uh, get the temperature even for uh, further distances so you could have here the uh, minimum distance and then the range the problem with this is uh, it also died because I left the batteries inside for a long time and the alkaline AAA batteries leaked out and destroyed the PCB so uh, that's the problem with the alkaline batteries so it's dead right now but this is also accurate so you can have there the you can see there the integrate Fahrenheit conversion and this is very fast in taking uh, temperatures 
so as you can see there are three different types so this one is body temperature this is also body temperature but only on the forehead while this one is for industrial use yeah for taking uh, temperatures of the buildings maybe or the rooftops okay so next we have our three face masks here and uh, we will start off with this one so this one is uh, China made so uh, this is I think I'm not sure how much but someone gave it to me so uh, we'll just take a look inside so as you can see here uh, disposable face mask and then it's uh, uh, medical high class PP non woven fabric it's uh, PM 2.5 it says and then the expiry is three years so the most important thing here is when you're buying mass it should be uh, at least uh, 100 microns as you can see here so this one is almost similar to the other one the one on the orange packaging so this one I got this is from the U Yes, oh no, I think it's from Thailand. It says here Thailand. And almost similar to the China made face mask. Almost the same construction. Well, this one is the N95, which is this one. So the, the N95 rating, it said it means that 95% of the um, particles in the air, it can do the, it can filter 95% of the particles from the air. So it could be like dust, um, droplets, or viruses, and smoke. This one is from Singapore, and it has sizes as well. This one is for the size small. So the Air Plus Smart Mask is actually a, I think it has a pattern for this one. So you can see here the picture inside when you wear this around your ears. So this is an N95 mask. The uh, most important thing here is when you're buying a mask, just make sure that it is certified 